Hello everyone, welcome back to Two Minute Tips. Let's get started. Query strings, what are they and how do we use them? Let's find out. Query strings allow you to pass information to your survey by adding that information to the end of your survey URL. Once the survey session begins, the data is saved as embedded data. The general structure of query strings is as follows. Question mark, field name, equals field value. If you're adding multiple fields and values, after the first value is added, instead of separating your data by question marks, the data is separated by ampersands. A common use case for query strings is to keep track of which platforms respondents are coming from, whether that be Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram. Let's use this social media example and begin setting up the survey flow to save the query string data. Begin by going into your survey flow, adding a new embedded data, and leaving its value field empty. In this case, I will add two different fields, source and referral, because I want to know what platform the respondent is coming from and which person posted that link. Once we've done this, make sure to move the embedded data element to the top of the survey flow so it's the first thing that occurs when a respondent begins their survey session. Now, we simply click Save, publish our survey, and copy our survey link. Once we have our survey link copied, we will want to add our query string by pasting the survey link and following the query string structure. Add the question mark at the end, include the name of your embedded data, add the equal sign, and write the value you want. In this case, we're adding two values. So after the first one, simply add an ampersand and repeat the process. Now, if we paste this link into a new window, once we submit our survey response, we will see that these fields are collected as embedded data in the data analysis tab. Keep in mind that this process can also be used to pass information from one survey to another using pipe text. For example, if we want to include the respondent's favorite color when redirecting, we can do so by heading over to the survey flow and adding it to the end of the redirect URL. Start by adding an embedded data element, click set a value now, then use the insert pipe text dropdown to select the answer you want to include. Now that we've generated the pipe text, we need to copy it, add an end of survey element, customize it, select the redirect option, and add the field and value as query strings. And that's it. Thank you for learning how to use query strings with me today. Please remember to subscribe to the two minute tip category on the XM community so you never miss a video and I hope to see you around the XM community.